welcome once again to the Cross Canada Competition 1997 Reach for the Top Championship. We've made it all the way to the finals. Schools from all across the country competing in the School Reach subscription program of the Reach for the Top program have made it all the way here, the pinnacle where they're fighting off today for the honor of the title and of course the big trophy which we'll show you a little bit later. Competing in this final round today on the bottom row once again we have Earl Haig Secondary School from North York, Ontario with their captain Jonathan Ellenswig. Jonathan, if you'd introduce your team for us. No problem, sir. On our far right we have Tarek Moynadine. Beside him we have Stephen Tu and on my left Joshua Arnold. Excellent. Welcome, Earl Haig. Good for you. Sure, you can clap for them. Their opponents in this final round from Gloucester High School in Gloucester, Ontario. It's the All-Ontario Final. Can you believe that? Their captain is uh, Vivek Krishnamurthy. Vivek, if you would introduce your team for us. Right. To my right is James Dunlop. Uh, to my immediate left is Jonathan with an A, Richardson. And to my far left is Ryan Mill. Excellent. Welcome, Gloucester. All right. And good luck to both of you. Just before we go further, we'll introduce a couple of other people you should know about from the different teams. Uh, teacher coach Shelley Mercer from... Earl Haig is sitting right over here. Um, just down the row a little bit, we have some alternate players from Gloucester who've been competing as well. Robert Kane and Man Yi Sun, they're alternates. And their coaches, Andrew Jekyll and Kelly Oka, their teacher coaches down the end of the row there. You should give them a hand. They've been working hard too. Once again, our scorekeeper for this evening's match is Richard Majot. He's sitting down in the front row over here. I'll be your judge for the evening. And of course, our quiz master, once again, Paul Russell. Thank you, David. We'll start with Snapper's teams. Good luck to both teams. Who is the author of the poem, The Ancient Mariner? Jonathan. Hemingway. No. Down to Earl Haig, Stephen. Coleridge. Yes, it was. What is the counterpart of the autumnal equinox? Vivek. The vernal equinox. Yes. Who is the mother of Abel in the Bible? Jonathan. Eve. Yes. Which former Air Force regular plays hockey star Bobby Vivek? Dave Broadfoot? Yes. What leader of the Nationalist China? What leader? Vivek? Tank I check? Yes. Recent fiction, 30 points. Third Twin is the most recent work by what spy novelist? Jonathan. Robert Ludlum? No. Up to Gloucester. James? Le Carre? No. Ken Follett. Name John Le Carre's most. Jonathan. Barbara Panama? No. Up to Gloucester. Most recent book. Vivek? The Taylor of Panama. You have it. The best-selling novel, The English Patient. Jonathan? Andachi? Yes. Events of the 1970s. <coughs> 1970s. This new leader took over the British Conservative. Jonathan? Thatcher. Yes. Britain voted to join which international? Joshua? The European Union. Yes. Sheikh Muhibir Rahman. Vivek? Egypt. No. The founding father of his Asian country was assassinated. Which country did he lead following its split with Pakistan? Bangladesh. Joshua. Bangladesh. Yes. Nice. Team question. Scramble for 10. In what major city might I find Temple Bar? Jonathan? London? Yes. Oh. The remaining questions all deal with London, and they are for Earl Haig. Canada House is located on what London Square? Okay. Jonathan? Trafalgar. Yes. What education institution in London did former Prime Minister Trudeau and Mick Jagger attend? School of Economics. Yeah, Jonathan? London School of Economics. Yes. By what name is the London Underground System popularly known? Metro. 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 No. The underground. Go ahead, Jonathan. The Underground. No. The Tube. The Tube. Second bests. 30 points. Which is the second largest French speaking city in the world? Jonathan. Quebec City. No. Vivek? Montreal. Yes. Which is the second largest country in the Western Hemisphere? Ryan. The United States? Yes. Which is the second longest river in the world? Vivek. Amazon. Yes. Same name geography. 40 points. I will give you clues to a name shared by places around the world. You give me the name. There is a city in New York State. Joshua? Syracuse. No. Oh. Up to Gloucester. And a Swiss canton and capital with what shared name? 
Geneva? Yes. There are communities in British Columbia and Maryland and in Greater London, England with the same. Jonathan? Annapolis? No. Sorry. With the same name. Sorry. No. The last clue was the last is the site of London's Roman Catholic Cathedral. It's the city of Westminster. You wanted. Cities in Georgia and Texas share. Vivek? Atlanta? No. It's down to Earl Haig. Share what name with the capital of Greece? Jonathan. Athens. Yes. Cities in Iowa and Ontario share what name with a Flemish? Vivek? No. With a Flemish town near a famous battle site. Answer, please. Jonathan? No. Yeah. No. Waterloo. Art question. Look at this reproduction. And we'll have four questions on it. What technique of printmaking was used with Vivek? Stone cut? Pardon? Stone cut? No. Was used to create this work of art. Joshua. No, it's a woodcut, a wood block or a woodcut. What is depicted, Jonathan? Flowers. Yes. What Austrian artist created this work? Jonathan. Gautier? No. Jonathan? Johns. No. Oscar Kokoschka. In what century was it designed, Jonathan? 19. No. Yes, Vivek. 20th. Yes. 30 points on history. <coughs> on February 15th, 1965, the Canadian Stephen. flag? Yes, but that's not the question. Up to Gloucester, Canada's new Maple Leaf flag was unfurled officially for the first time. Where in Ottawa did the ceremony take place? Parliament Hill. Vivek. Parliament Hill. Yes. Prime Minister Lester B. Pearson was responsible for its adoption, but the flag wasn't welcomed by all Canadians. Some wanted the Union Jack retained. They called the Prime Minister's flag, Jonathan? The Red Ensign? Oh. No. Back up to Gloucester. Called the Prime Minister's flag by his name and another word beginning with the letter P. They called it? Pearson's pennant? Yes. As the flag was unfurled for the first time, the action was accompanied by a noisy military contribution. What was it? James. Yes. Snappers. The vegetable, Brassica oleracea, which can be eaten raw or cooked in a variety of ways. Joshua? Broccoli? No. Is commonly known as what, Gloucester? Brian. The radish? No, it's cabbage. Which is the second most populous country in the world? Jonathan. India. Yes. Under what U.S. law can companies who... James? Yes. Which Canadian Prime Minister was born in Richmond, England? Jonathan. Turner. Yes. What was the first poison gas to be used in warfare? James. Yes. Thank you, teams. We'll take a short break now and confirm the story. Back once again for round two in this final round of the Reach for the Top 1997 Championship. The score after one round, Gloucester High School, 140. Right behind them at 130 is Earl Haig, so we move into the second round. Once again, Paul Russell. Thank you very much, David. We'll start teams with an assigned question. This is an assigned question on science. And we'll start with Torek. The coldest spot on Earth is the Pole of Inaccessibility in the center of Antarctica where temperatures as low as 127 degrees Fahrenheit have been recorded. What common gas would be solid in such temperature? Carbon dioxide? Yes. Stephen, one can only lower temperature to a certain level, approximately minus 273 degrees Celsius. What is this temperature? Absolute zero? Yes. What temperature scale begins at absolute zero? Jonathan, yes. And finally, Joshua, under normal pressure, what is the one element which cannot be frozen solid at absolute zero? Uh, helium. You have it. Upstairs to Gloucester, we'll start with James. Helium is also special in other respects. At temperatures below 2.2 .2 degrees Kelvin, it behaves strangely and is called helium-2. What is the scientific term for its actions at these temperatures? I don't know. No. Down to Torque. You have it. 
vivek at temperature close to absolute zero certain minerals have no electrical resistance what is the state called super conductivity yes to contain and preserve his super frigid liquids jonathan upstairs the scottish chemist james dewar invented the forerunner of what common article in 1885 the freezer no down to jonathan downstairs a thermos yes and finally for ryan the solidified carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide snow is used as a refrigerant known commonly as dry ice yes excellent round 30 points on philosophy tell me which philosopher said or wrote the following quotations first one the unexamined life is not worth living who said that vivek socrates no stephen aristotle no it was plato second one having the fewest wants i am the closest to the gods jonathan upstairs sartre no down to jonathan yes aristotle no it was socrates <laughs> the third one man is born free and everywhere he is joshua rousseau yes everywhere he is in chains early christianity these questions deal with saint paul paul formerly known as saul experienced his conversion to christianity as he was traveling joshua on the road to damascus yes immediately before his journey paul gave his consent to and witnessed the stoning death jonathan saint stephen yes which two epistles, the 7th and 8th books of the New Testament, did St. Paul write to Stephen? 1st and 2nd Corinthians? Yes. <coughs> Psychology, open again to both teams. We have three questions. A very severe personality disorder, which often shows irrational acts, bizarre, Joshua. Schizophrenia? Yes. The restrictions or don'ts set up by society are called? Jonathan? Laws? Accepted. The individual's conception of the self. Jonathan. Id. No. To Gloucester. Vivek. Ego. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what year am I? What year am I now for 40 points? Uh, the first clue. The Métis and the Northwest Mounted Police. Joshua. 1885. You have it. 40 points. What year am I? We now go to music. Listen to this selection. Name the composer of this symphonic, Vivek. No, the symphonic work, which is the Slavonic dance number eight. Answer, please, John. Kokofia? No, it's Anton Vorjak. Vorjak was a native. Jonathan? No, that's not the question. Upstairs. Was a native of an area now part of which Central European country? Vivek. The Czech Republic? Yes. <coughs> Play the next, next selection, please. Give me the title of this Vorjak symphony. Jonathan? Is that the theme from the New World Symphony? Yes, it is. <coughs> the New World Symphony was written during Borjak's three-year term as the head of the National Conservatory of Music in which country? Jonathan. France? No. Up to Gloucester. The United States? Yes. 30-point open question on the Russian Revolution. The October Revolution overthrew the provisional government led by what? Jonathan? Kerensky? Yes. With what treaty did the Soviets end, Joshua? Brest-Litovsk. Yes. What was the name of the secret, Joshua? Uh, the Bolsheviks. No. Upstairs to Gloucester. The secret security group, James? Cheka. Yes. <coughs> 30 points on Canadian personalities. Who started studying classical piano at the age of five, Joshua, Jonathan? Glenn Gould. No. Up to Gloucester. But at the age of 10 or 11, fell victim to the jazz thing, which puts him now among the world's Vivek. Oscar Peterson. Yes. Who turned the office of the leader of the federal opposition over to Joseph Clark in early Vivek? 
Pierre Trudeau. No. In early 1976, Earl Hay. Stanfield. Yes. Who was selected for the part of Old Lodge Skins in the movie Little Big Man? Filmed in Al Joshua? Green? No. Filmed in Alberta. Gloucester? Ryan? Dustin Hoffman? No. Dan George. Coming to politics from a successful career in journalism, who was the third woman federal cabinet minister? Vivek. Laura McDonald? No. In Canada's history. Earl Haig? Jonathan? Campbell? No, it was Jean Sauvé. 30 points on history. The following questions on the editor of the Colonial Advocate, William Lyon Mackenzie. In 1836, a new lieutenant governor was appointed to Upper Canada. What was Quebec? Bond head. Yes. Early in December of 1837, Mackenzie and his followers gathered at Joshua? Montgomery's Tavern. Yes. Unlike Mackenzie, other reformers in Upper Canada were less radical. Who led the Upper Canadian? Jonathan? Brown? No. Up to Gloucester. Upper Canadian reformers, when the Durham Report, which analyzed the 1837 rebellion, was issued in 1839. Vivek. Baldwin? Yes, it was Baldwin. Robert Baldwin. <coughs> Team question. Scramble for 10 points. In the 19th century, members of the Regiment of the Royal Canadian Rifles participated in the first recorded James. World War? No. Listen for it. First recorded game in Canada of what sport? Hockey. No. Jonathan? Hockey. Yes. Oh. Ice hockey. The remaining questions deal with hockey. Earl Haig. In what Canadian city was this first game played? Jonathan? Kingston? Yes. In what 19th century decade was this game played? Need it now, Jonathan? 50s? Yes. Who noted in his book entitled The Game that the first public exhibition of the game took place at Montreal's Victoria Skating Rink? <coughs> now, Jonathan? Ken Dryden? Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> snappers, snappers. Which two letters are the newest in the English alphabet? Vivek? Q and Z? No. Arriving on the scene around 1630. J and... Jonathan? Q and... No. Okay. J and V. What does a Geiger counter measure? Jonathan? Radioactivity. Yes. What is the title of the highest official of Canada's judiciary? Jonathan? Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. Yes. What was the novel... What was the Nova Scotia... What was Nova Scotia called? Excuse me. Ooh, New Scotland. Jonathan downstairs. New Scotland? No, up to Gloucester. What was Nova Scotia called when it was a French possession? Vivian. Acadia. Yes. Be right back with Reach for the Top after a short break. <laughs> Still a very close game in this, the final round of the final match. 280 points to Gloucester Secondary School, 360 to Earl Haig Secondary. We go into the third and final round. Once again, Paul Russell. Thank you, David. An open question for 40, for 40 points on dates in history. First question. In 1804, who crowned himself Emperor of France? Joshua. Napoleon Bonaparte. Yes. In 1945, what U.S. bomber dropped... Jonathan? The Enola Gay. Yes. In what year did the Cuban Missile Crisis get back upstairs? 1961. No. 1959. Downstairs. Jonathan? 1962. Yes. What war... Are you answering that? No. <laughs> what, go up to Gloucester. <coughs> what war broke out in 1950? Korean Korean war. War. The Korean War. Yes. 30 points on threes, both teams. What are the names of the three stooges? Jonathan downstairs. Larry Curly Moe. Yes. Now give me the names of Dumas' three musketeers, Jonathan, downstairs. Arthos, Pathos, and D'Artagnan. No. no we go upstairs to Gloucester. Athos, Porthos, and Aramis. Yes. Okay. Finally, the name of the three tenors currently Jonathan upstairs. Luciano Pavarotti, Placido Domingo, and Jose Carreras. Yes. <laughs> A team question. Scramble for 10 points. What important navigable river rises in Switzerland and empties? Jonathan downstairs. The Rhine? 
Yes, okay. you have it. On the, empties on the coast of the Netherlands. The remaining questions deal with the Rhine. What was the name of the flaxen-haired siren who was said to lure boatmen on the Rhine to their deaths at the tower of, at the foot of a towering cliff? Lorelei. Yes. What river meets the Rhine at the West German city of Koblenz? Jonathan. The Rhone? No, it's the Moselle. And I shouldn't say the West, it's the German city of Koblenz. Finally, what crop predominates on the hills of the Rhine Valley south of Cologne? Jonathan. Grapes. Yes, vineyards, grapes. 30 points on music. Open again to both teams. Which folk rock musician in the late 1960s and early 70s, Joshua? Bob Dylan? No, up to Gloucester, is best known for the songs Bad, Bad Leroy Brown and Time in a Bottle. Yeah. Brian. Jim Croce? Yes. <laughs> Considered one of the best post-World War II female vocalists produced by the English, who sang the theme song for the James Bond movie Goldfinger? James. Tina Turner? No. Downstairs to Earl Haig. Do you have an answer, Jonathan? Lizzie Walker? No, Shirley Bassey. <laughs> Shirley Bassey it was. Known as the grandfather of British rock, who was very popular in the late, 19, in the late 1960s with his band, the Blues Breakers? John, Ryan. John Mayle? Yes. A who am I question for 40 points. I was born in Russia on September 14, 1849. Vivek. Lenin. No. Downstairs. The science world became my main interest. Who am I? Jonathan? Mendeleev? No. Going to the second clue. I was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physio... Jonathan. Pavlov. Yes. <laughs> it was Pavlov. 20 points on fun math. <laughs> multiply, multiply the number of wonders of the world by the number of stooges on the old TV show and add that amount to Wayne Gretzky's jersey number. Jonathan upstairs. 120. Yes. Second question. Multiply the number of points in a converted touchdown by the number of sides of a pentagon and add that to the year in which Napoleon was defeated at... Jonathan? 18, 1,837. No. We go downstairs. Was Jonathan? 1,848. No, it's 1,850. <coughs> golf. 20 points on golf. On a golf course, a fixed number of strokes is allowed for each hole. Jonathan? Par? No, that's not the answer we want. Upstairs? If four strokes are allowed and a player holes out in three, he or she is said to have scored a birdie. What is the player said to have scored if, on a par four hole, five strokes are required? Jonathan? A bogey. Yes. <coughs> Open to both teams again. What is the maximum number of clubs permitted to a player Jonathan. 13? No. Upstairs to a player during a round. Jonathan upstairs. 15. No. 14. <laughs> Open question for 30 points on British Columbia for our host province. Which river of northern British Columbia? Nataco? Pardon? Nataco? No. I'll complete it for Earl Haig. Of northern British Columbia and Alberta, part of the Mackenzie River system flows east to empty eventually into Lake Athabasca. Jonathan? Peace River? Yes. What is the common name for the sheltered water route along the coast of British Columbia, stretching from Seattle to Quebec? Uh, Puget no. Sound. We'll go downstairs. Stretching from Seattle to Juneau. No. no. Inside passage. Which strait named for a mythological goddess, Jonathan? Oh, strait of Juan de Fuca. No. <laughs> Up to Gloucester, for a mythological goddess of the underworld separates the Queen Charlotte Islands from the mainland. Answer, please. Jonathan? The Strait of Persephone? No, it's Hecate Strait. Words for 30 points. All of the following questions have answers which begin with the word great. First one. This is an exclamation of surprise. Vivek. Great Scott. Yes. <laughs> Second question. What was the northward migration in 1835? Jonathan. The Great Walk? No. Upstairs to Gloucester. 
of large numbers of Boers to the areas where they eventually founded the Transvaal Republic and the Orange Free State? Answer, please. The, vet? the Great Exodus? No, it was the Great Trek. Finally, what dog? Joshua. Great Dane? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're now at final snappers. Canadian architect Carlos Ott received the top French honor, the Chevalier of the Legion of Honor. What did he design that won him the distinction? Jonathan, downstairs. Pompidou Center? No. Upstairs, you want to try? Vivek? The Bastille Opera House? Yes. Amal and Hezbollah are both factions of which? Jonathan, downstairs. PLO? No. Of which Muslim sect? Upstairs. Vivek? Shiite. Yes. Which of Jesus' disciples was the doubter? Jonathan, upstairs. Thomas. Yes. Who was the first socialist to be selected as a provincial premier? Joshua. Papre. No. As a provincial premier in Canada. Upstairs to Gloucester. Vivek. Tommy Douglas. Yes. Which mountain range runs from the Arctic to the Caspian? Vivek. Caucasus. No. From the, Ar from the Arctic to the Caspian Sea. Urals. Downstairs. Jonathan. Urals. Yes. What is the name of the island of Newfoundland's only international Jonathan? Uh, Newfoundland Airport. No. Only international airport, Gloucester. Vivek. Gander. Yes. Whose number nine shirt was retired by the Montreal Louis James? Richard. Yes. Who wrote Two Solitudes and Jonathan Duff? Hugh McLennan. Welcome back. We've confirmed the score is at the end of this final round of the final match of the 1997 Reach for the Top Championships. Gloucester High School, 450. Our champions, Earl Haig, with 470 points in a very tight game. There are 1997 champions for Reach for the Top at Earl Haig.